Greg Chick, Ramona's Plumber here. In this video, I'm going to show you a real inexpensive way to check to see if your house has any leaks in it with using a pressure gauge. What I'm going to do to check, I'm going to put this gauge on here right on a hose bib that's connected to the building after the house shut off, not before. And then it goes up to 80 pounds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the water to the house making this a closed system. Now, if this is a round handle and a gate valve, I wouldn't uh, count on that gate valve working very well, so that, this wouldn't be a good method for having a gate valve. But if you have a ball valve with a lever handle, you turn it off, quarter turn just like that, and you look at the gauge. Now, if the gauge starts dropping real slowly right now, water's going somewhere, and you have a leak. If the gauge sits there, don't be too quick to judge. Watch that gauge, maybe do a little dither, and I would say 15 minutes. If, you, if, if it sits there at 80 pounds or 60 or whatever you have, and you go like this, and for 15 minutes, you don't have any needle movement on that gauge, you're good to go. You've got no water. We don't have a leak here, but we're going to go inside and I'm going to show you what a leak looks like by turning on a faucet and we're going to see how it shows on the gauge. I'm going to turn this faucet on to get a very small flow right there. And we're going to see what that looks like on the pressure gauge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this valve off. Now we have a closed system. And that leak in there is going to show up as a pressure drop on this gauge. And that was a very, very slow drip, but that should cause this gauge to drop. So here you have it, 15 PSI drop in five minutes. Had there been no leaks, this would be good till tomorrow. Can you do it? Yes, you can, and I can help. For more information, RamonasPlumber.com and DIYPlumbingAdvice.com. Thanks for watching.